Okay, good afternoon. We're here today at 7653 Old Highway 20 to celebrate the grand opening and ribbon cutting of Junction 21. And we're here today with the owners. We have Pat McAndrew and his brother Tim McAndrew and John Lehman. My name is Nancy Dunkel and I'm a market president for Fidelity Bank and Trust and I'm also this year's chairman for the Dubuque Area Chamber of Commerce. And on behalf of the chamber and the 1,400 plus members that we have, we wanna congratulate you and thank you for investing in Dubuque and Dubuque County. We appreciate the business. And by the way, this address is Centralia. I better add that because when people drive by and this is a busy road, so uh, it's a great spot. We know that uh, starting your own business is always a risk that you take. And so we're here to just wish you the best of luck and. Hope that the rewards that you're going to have way outweigh those risks. We also send our best on behalf of the Dubuque City Council and uh, the Dubuque County Board of Supervisors. And on behalf of them, and to also uh, share a few words with you, we have County Supervisor Wayne Demmer. Thank you, Nancy. And gentlemen, on behalf of Dubuque County and myself, we'd like to congratulate you guys, as Nancy said, stepping out and I've been in this place many times over the years, and uh, it looks fantastic. And I'm looking forward. I should have went in inside before, but I've heard nothing but the best. And I've heard a lot of very good compliments, first-class pace, first-class food, and first-class uh, uh, hospitality. So with that, I think at Dubuque County, there's a lot of good eaters and people like good food. So congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Wayne. How about all these red coats behind us? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> that is the uh, Goodwill arm for the Dubuque Area Chamber of Commerce. And they're here today to make a presentation to you as well. And so on their behalf, we have Paul Hammer. Thanks, Nancy. You know, I have to disagree with you. I can't see how there's a risk involved in serving good food and drink in Dubuque. Well, Centralia, but that's close enough. As I drove up here, it brought back a lot of memories of... Uh, coming out to Dyersville on the old highway, and we always called that the Mile Hill. Am I correct, guys? That was Mile Hill. Boy, if you could make that up in, in second gear, I guess you really accomplished something, but don't have to worry about it today. Well, we're here to, to congratulate you, obviously, and welcome you to the Dubuque business community with the Chamber of Commerce. And also, we put a, together a nice media package, including commercial all day today on the four radio Dubuque stations, welcoming you and announcing this ribbon cutting. You've been on the digital billboard, courtesy of Lamar Advertising, on Highway 20, heading out this direction, uh, on the new highway, obviously. And the video that Steve's taking, the pictures that Sally are taking, will end up on Cable Channel 22, also on YouTube, and on the Chamber's Ambassador website. So you get a lot of exposure there, worth about $3,000 to you. So that's a nice benefit for joining the Chamber. We also have a beautiful plaque designed by another ambassador, Gary Olson, framed by Creative Touch Gallery and Framing, and it says, on the occasion of your ribbon cutting, Junction 21 Restaurant, we celebrate your success and the contribution you've made to our economy and business community. Congratulations, guys. Great pizza, by the way. We had the food out here a couple of weeks ago, and it was just wonderful stuff. Thanks, Paul. Oh, yes. Business cards as well. We have business cards of everybody who's here. And... Uh, Put us in a drawing for a fruit beer or something like that, right? Good idea. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, this is uh, your turn. We have Pat and John, and I guess you're going to be the spokesperson, Tim. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit? This is a great location, obviously, on Old Highway 20 and Sundown Road here. Uh, how did you come to land right here? Well, I've lived out in this area for about 15 years, and it's always been a great location. And... Uh, me and my brother, we were actually we were butchering a cow. And I said, you know, the place is for sale. I think I'll go look at it. He said, well, I might be interested too. And that uh, happened on a Friday. And Tuesday, we put our offer in. And Wednesday, we owned it. Wow. And then, uh, <clears throat> so that went pretty quick. And then we were fortunate enough that when we started, John and his brothers all showed up the next day with hammers and stuff. And John never went away. So uh, <laughs> finally, I said, you know, why don't you just buy in? And uh, I think we can make something out of this place. We wanted to create a fun place, somewhere people would come and enjoy themselves. Uh, come as you are. And we have everything from someone that just got done spreading the field with manure, stopping in for lunch, to uh, some business meetings that take place. And I've been here almost two different times and found that to be true. It's a great spot. We had great pizza, great food, and, and excellent drinks as well. 
How about your hours? What, uh, what times are you open? Well, we start on uh, Mondays, we open at 3 p.m. And then Tuesday through Sunday, we're open from 11. Uh, generally at night, we try and stay open all the way till midnight for those that work in second shift. And a lot of weekends, we'll be here till one or two. Good hours. And how about your deck? I've been out there a couple of times and it's an awesome place. You want to tell us a little bit about how much fun that is? Well, the deck's a lot of fun. Not only do you have the umbrellas if the wind cooperates. Uh, we're down to one umbrella now, but uh, <laughs> we still have one and we have some music out there and stuff like that. But the, but the deck offers another, you know, the, just the most beautiful view in Dubuque County right here, in which you can go out there, enjoy a meal, uh, have the service, have the food delivered out to you, and really enjoy what Dubuque County offers. Speaking of service, we also had really good service. How many employees did you do you have? Well, we started out with anybody that came in the door and they said they wanted to work. <laughs> and then uh, we're fortunate enough that uh, we all have large families. So every kid, including my youngest that's in here today, that's 10 year old, is working. Uh, so we have a number of employees. The bulk of them are our family. And uh, we're fortunate that we get to work with all of our kids now in order to provide the service and food that uh, you all get to receive. One. One. Two, three. All right.